Hi, I'm Steve Johnston. Welcome to OnlineLessonVideos.com. That was Whiskey Before Breakfast, which is a great old fiddle tune. I've uh, done a pretty basic arrangement of it here. We're going to go ahead and learn this now, so why don't you go ahead, print your tabs out, put them on a stand in front of you, and we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so for this song, Whiskey Before Breakfast, you probably noticed I used a capo on the second fret. Uh, gives it a little different, uh, kind of a crisper sound, and it projects differently than if you're playing it down in the uh, regular C. The way I'm going to teach it to you, though, is without the capo. So I'm going to take the capo off now, and everything on the chart is going to be uh, written that way, as if it were just played without the capo. And you can certainly play this song without the capo. You know, it just going to sound a, a little different, uh, not better or worse necessarily. Now, there's three pickup notes uh, in measure one, leading into measure two, which is actually where the song starts. Uh, so we've got uh, on the second half of beat number three of the first measure, I'm playing a G, and basically walking up from a G up a scale to the C chord. So the first note I'm playing with third finger, third fret, which is a G note, down pick. And then the, the second one is open on the A string. And the last note of that first measure is second finger, second fret. You can just pick all those down. You know, you could pick them back and forth if you wanted to. Probably easier just to pick them all down. The actual melody begins on measure two, which is over a C chord. And uh, it's basically following a C scale up the neck. So the first note of measure two, third finger, third fret on the A string. Second note of the melody is open on the D string. Second finger, second fret on the D string. And then third finger, third fret on the same string. And then going to open on the G string. And those are picked alternate picking down for the first note, up on the D, down on the second finger, up on the third finger, and then open with the down pick on the G string. Down, up, down, up, down. If you're playing this at a real slow speed, it's not gonna make any difference. But when you're trying to play, uh, play things faster, you know, you're gonna have to play it uh, that way. So, you, you know, you just need to get used to it. Um, try to keep your pick down real close to the strings uh, you know, the further that you get away from the string, the further you're going to have to come back. So you just want to keep the, you know, hold the pick. I hold it, you know, thumb and second finger um, and uh, kind of angle the point back just a little bit. The next thing is just a strummed C chord. And then the melody continues with open on the G string with the down pick second finger with an up pick on the same string back to open on the same string with a down pick and then this when it goes back to the second finger on the d string you still want to hit that with an up pick a little tricky it's called cross picking so you're coming back to the bigger string with an up pick then the next note is open on the D string. That'd be a down pick. You're changing direction every time on, on this part. Then up pick, third finger on the A string, the fifth string. And then back to the other string, back to the D string, open. And that's down. And then the last note of that measure, measure one, is an up pick, second finger, second fret. Here's measure one. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. 
I would just practice that measure slowly, make sure you got the picking right. Try to make sure you press all your notes right up next to the fret, but not on it.